Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Aki from Aki's Place. So I wanted to talk about, I don't know if you see my videos about a few months ago, I tried Lekka Semi Hydro and then my conclusion was it's too much work for me. So I decided to quit and everything and converted everything back to soil. And I end up with so much Lekka balls. Like I purchased like 50 liter which was like which was like really big they were like like the bag was like this big so it was really heavy but <laughs> i ended up like selling most of it on marketplace and then i lost so much money because they were expensive <laughs> but i still had some of them left and i was thinking what i can do with it so I just want to show you what I do with the leftover liquors that liquor balls that you don't use. Um, actually, this is the last liquor, not last liquor, but this is the last semi hydro that I have in the house. It's a um, not potos. It's a the the heart leaf philodendron and potos and philodendron. You can like grow them in water. So. As you can see, like this been like sitting like this for m more than six months, I guess, and it's doing great because um, I guess they because that you can grow them in water, so you don't really the reservoir can touch the roots and they don't go rotten. So it's doing great, but this is the last one of the semi hydro that I have, and it looks it's good. it's really doing great, um, but then. <laughs> But I still have so much left, even though I sold most of it. So I was checking because Lekka balls, um, they are good at absorbing like moisture. So I I decided to like add it into some of my plants that likes to be in a wet side, like on a uh, like to be in a moist soil. So um, example, this is the variegated holy that I have and they like to have the soil on the moist side so I have like a ball mixed into the soil so I have like I don't remember how many maybe like three thirty percent like a balls and then I have the regular potting mix and charcoal activated charcoals and uh, I also add um, perlite and orchid barks so that's the mixture like um so this one they like to be in the wet side so i normally water twice a week so like once in wednesday like not as much as on the other like i tr i have a routine i cannot like check every plant and like to see which one needs watering so i have a routine so like weekend i water weekend is my watering day so I water all the plants and then the one that needs to be watered more like like to be on the west side like this guy I will water on Wednesday but I will water less not as the same as like the weekend watering but um, it lost so much leaves before because um, I guess like once a week wasn't enough so I added the slicker ball and then I water like twice a week and now it's growing back like I can see a lot of new growth coming out and they it stopped dropping leaves so it's working so I have this what else I mix I um the peace lily also is a thirsty um plant so I have it in the peace lily also have it in a poinsettia I think poinsettia likes to be in the wet side as well and what else did I oh and the calitheas they also like to be on the wet side so I have it mixed in the calitheas and so you can mix it in the soil I mean some people may not recommend it but like this is my method and it works really well for me and then the other thing you can do is that because it, it holds moist moisture very well you can use it as a you can also use it as a decor, decorative um, no not decorative pot the, the pebble tray so I don't have pebble tray like a like a ball use as a pebble trays because um, I just take up a lot of space for right now so it doesn't really pebble tray doesn't really works for me now but I decided to so like this guy 
as a uh, Shamanti trio star needs uh, requires humidity so I have liquor balls underneath on top of the so I have it mixed in the soil but also have a liquor balls on top as a it's like a decorative you know pebbles but what I do is because it holds moisture very well in the morning I just take all the um, so like Calithias and Peace Lily, I have uh, the pebbles, uh, not pebbles, <laughs> liquors on top of the soil. So I just go around and mist, mist this liquor balls because it holds moisture and like the, the, like I'll try to do it twice a day, like one in the morning and one in the evening. But if you like spray it, mist it, and then, then the liquor ball gets wet and then it holds moisture and like throughout the day it will try to evaporate so it's like the same as having a pebble tray and just that I don't have space for pebble tray so I just have it on top of the um the the, the soil the mix so it works really well um I think it's happy and yeah I mean I don't see any any sign of overwatering so it's really working for me so right now I have um Calithias some of the Calithias and then have the Stromanti um trio star and what else a peace lily I have liquors on top um because I don't have any more liquors maybe I will eventually use this and put it on top of all the Calithias that I have <clears throat> excuse me but that's and also, I forgot, um, alocasia also like to be on the moist side. So I think I added some of the liquor balls in alocasia as well. But um, this is my experience. So I'm, I can't really say it might work for you because it's just we get a lot of sun in the winter as well, as you can see. So the soil does get dry out quicker um, than not getting much sun. So and uh, so i hope this you could try this method and see if it works for you but um if it doesn't don't try it on your expensive plants maybe just try it on something that you have that's not really doing well maybe um i guess to start with i don't know what would be a cheap plant that well peacefully definitely works better i think they they really they're really a thirsty plant so um I would recommend trying that. But so that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next one. Bye.